Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Young, veterinarian here at the Greensboro Science Center. Uh, today we're taking another look at Rogue, our large female southern stingray. Um, keepers recently noticed a mass on her head and we're going to get a couple of samples. So initially, uh, Carla and Sarah uh, jump into the acclimation pool and um, Rogue's been trained over months and uh, I think over a year now uh, on this behavior to swim into this tub for uh, anesthetic purposes. Once she's in the pool, um, we will add our anesthetic drugs. We'll add a uh, air stone that pumps uh, pure oxygen into the water that helps her get sleepy a little bit faster. Um, and then once she's fully out, we'll uh, check for her barb length and hop on in. Uh, so as the saying goes, it takes the village, uh, uh, and it does in all of our procedures, but this one especially, um, there are multiple parts involved, not just me um, doing our exam. So. Um, Carla and Sarah are in the pool. They're working with Rogue directly, training her to get into the pool, uh, but also then holding that pool stable so that Rogue and I don't fall out uh, and we don't lose our anesthetic water. Um, you have Megan up on uh, dry ground, acting as our kind of go-to, our, our, our hands, uh, whenever we need something, she's there to um, uh, help us out. Uh, of course, Sam uh, is my uh, technician. Uh, in addition to monitoring the animal's uh, anesthetic depth, she's also, you know, always handing me the next thing I need, keeping us in line, keeping us on track for what we need, uh, be that ultrasound probe or the biopsies or a syringe for blood sample. Um, and then Sarah uh, is our aquarium curator, uh, watching over the whole thing, making sure everybody's safe, uh, making sure the procedure runs, runs well. So while we're waiting for her to get um, fully anesthetized, we did a full ultrasound. Um, so looking at all of her major organs, um, but specifically her reproductive organs. Um, I think as we talked about in the previous video, um, that's always a concern with older uh, female stingrays. Um, everything looks good today. Um, in addition to that, um, we took the uh, three biopsy samples uh, from the mass on top of her head. Um, we'll send those off to a uh, uh, pathologist who specializes in uh, zoo and exotic species and see what we get back from that. Um, in addition, we'll just do a, a full physical exam, and while we got her, might as well collect a blood sample and just, again, check on her organ values, um, make sure she doesn't have any signs of uh, other disease going on. Okay, it's been two weeks. Uh, we got our biopsy results back, and we're happy to report that uh, the site that we were concerned about on Rogue's head is actually benign, um, just caused by some sort of uh, mild abrasion. So today we're uh, rechecking Rogue's biopsy sites. Uh, we were not able to close those um, during the previous procedure just due to the location and the tension on those tissues. Um, everything looks great. Um, we're able to do uh, that so easily because of the training that uh, Carla and Sarah have implemented with Rogue. Um, she's able to come right up. We don't have to anesthetize her for those. I can get a good look. I can actually touch those parts of her, uh, which previously would not have been uh, possible. Uh, it's a pleasure to work with such a talented team uh, and such a wonderful animal.